hello guys and welcome to my video this is dead or alive 6 plus plus it's basically a gameplay overhaul and i seriously want to uh, show you what this overhaul is capable of because there's a lot of new stages and there's just altered new moves removing the fatal strikes and so the gorge from the game entirely which uh, the way how it looks is absolutely beautiful and first i'd like to show you guys my favorite character in the entire game Hayate who is uh, basically just gonna show you what he's capable of there is a lot of st stages like there is all the alt alternate versions of the stages There's a lot of things, but first we'd like to go for a chamber of potential, a beautiful, beautiful place to show you everything. That's basically just, you know, the training room of what we're gonna show you. And uh, in the command list, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's the, that, as you see, there are special moves of Hayate that was not being there before a special special is what basically about something there is nothing like that uh, in the in the regular game like Dead or Alive 6 there is nothing like that it's basically about there's all directional stuns with this and then I'm gonna show you everything what was done and that's not uh, searching for opponents now please thank you so here's everything what Hayata can do in this version of the game. So Hayata can actually perform all of these stuff now. And he can actually work on this. And he can repetitively. I'm gonna show you how. And This is, this is basically crazy. This is, this is a loop that you can basically pass one over and over again. Beautiful. And here is what Hayata can do basically. Like, you remember that Hayata is capable of doing this in the entirety of, of the regular game. But, However, Hayata can do this perfectly in the opposite direction and absolutely sideways and And uh, Hayata can teleport like this, like in a Dead or Alive 4. It's not just this anymore. Not just this. Not just this. And not just this. Not just this. Not just this. But absolutely <laughs> this as well and <laughs> can perform everything like that if you actually been dead or alive for a little bit as well, he can actually respond as well and he can, he can also grab the opponent by doing pretty long <laughs> yeah this is actually possible Hayate is not just doing this but can do this in a longer range that's a pretty long range if you see it. I have to do all of these things. So just keep on doing our stuff here. But let's see what uh, other things that Hayata can do. Yes, he absolutely can just do this. Do you remember this type of kick? This is a really mild stun uh, from the upper kick. Like what he can do. But now he can dash after it. It's really crazy. So he can dash to the other side by doing this move. He can kick. He can bounce. He can slide like that. He can punch like that. And he can grab the opponent right after it. Beautiful. A really beautiful. But also Hayate is still capable of. Do you still remember, guys? Dead or Alive 3, Hayata's basic uh, karate-like uh, 
I don't know if it's Kyukoshin character or something like that, but uh, do you guys still remember this? I do from the old Dead or Alive 3, I freaking do. Hayate can do this, and this is my game. If Hayate continues, he's just gonna regularly do this forward launching keep out move. From Hayate now, can do this as well. Also, uh, it's just basically anything that Hayate <laughs> will do with Hayate Gakken now returns back to him with just three moves and they are also returned. And there's still also another surprise that you remember this down kick of Hayate just keeps spamming nothing, just very weak low. Ah, uh, don't worry, continue his move like this, just like a level like four. Absolutely amazing. So, what other things that we can actually talk about with Hayate I can keep on continuing? All good moves, but was not possible for him. All the moves Hayate can do, and he can actually dash forward and then. And there is one little thing that I have already talked about. It. That if Hayate is doing this juggling combo, it's gonna knock him to the ground, uh, knock him to the wall. So he cannot really perform it unless if there is no wall behind Nyotengu. So you can actually perform this. There are no closes unless, unless you are moving closer and But if you are doing this, there are no close hits at all. Unlike in Dead or Alive, regular Dead or Alive 6. Now, Dead or Alive 6 plus plus offers you the ability to dodge and retaliate without the dodge being consumed. You can actually do that. But it's not gonna launch as a keep out move. It's gonna just knock down your opponent and you can just keep doing your thing. Like if high up there, not down and not down. Then you need a strong grab by actually touching the ground like this with his feet. If he knocks down an enemy, like that. So you can actually there from the forward and the grab like an Trying to move, right? There is no way that he can do a close hit after this. There is no way that he could do a close hit. There is actually another another crazy move for Hayata to do. Uh, I don't even remember which it was. There is actually a, a move list keep telling you what Hayata is capable of. If there is actually a lot of special that he is capable of. So Yeah, he can actually do this as well. But this, this combination, you can actually do whatever you want with Hayata now. Just as in the Dora Life 4 and 3, it's just, just basically all the same thing. Now, Hayata is capable to do this with lighter punch. Instead of this, now he can do this as well. Which is crazy. Now, Hayata also has a fair minimum of other beautiful moves just like this that if you, you know if you punch your opponent he can immediately forward dash or when he dodge he can perform a forward dash immediately and do this perform this jump Hayatagake and the, and the double get to him as well. Oh, everything. So now, um, what other things that Hayate is capable of here? Uh, to keep moving down there. So anything is being uh, framed as special is basically 
an extra move what Hayata can do unlike what he couldn't do before. Hayata can poke the enemy with his feet like this in order to do a Hayata attack. A forward attack right after it. Crazy. So, Hayata uh, can also do... Yeah, that's actually count, count as a special, I think. But... That is actually a stance-based thing, that's a back to four and everything else. So, if Hayata is doing this... Yeah. I believe so. Hayata can do this. Uh, let's see the command list again. So, FR, what does it mean? There is actually two sp crazy specials that Hayata can do. If he keeps on con continue his forward mode, then so basically. Uh, this move is that is actually a stance that he he have to do a stance which is crazy I don't know what the fuck not this stance don't seem to find it but yeah Hayate that is actually a stance that Hayate can do something about actually there is actually a crazy one but yeah by stance Hayate can Hayate can about the unique strikes what Hayata is capable of like Hayata can continue all of these without problem now Hayata no I think there is no more unique strikes for Hayata oh I don't know if it's if it's unique it's it was in the game I didn't really remember that this was in the game. But you can actually turn around. I literally really didn't know about it. What is that from time this? It's a good to know thing. It's a good to know thing. And then there are actually more things of the strikes. Now back facing everything. I think okay, I think everything here is just remain to be old and rusty. Now that's just count it like that. There are no special moves at all, except that one on the middle, which can be visible. And there, is a, there are those towns. I mean, this holding Hayate is just teleports to the other side by doing the stance, which is all the stance move. So Hayate is actually <laughs> <doing the> stance <laughs> move. <laughs> what is this actually? <laughs> Now let's see what the other characters can do because uh, there is actually other extra characters that we keep, we keep doing new things. So I wonder what are those moves I didn't really try, but I saw some. So uh, Kazumi has yeah has a triple punch a special kick and a simple kick right there so Kazumi couldn't do that before so 
and so that as well. So Kazumi can perfectly yeah. down as well. Kazumi also capable to do this. It is it Kazumi had this in Dead or Alive 3 as well. And I don't know if there is any other move that Kazumi is just Yeah, this. And I think it counts as a new one. I don't know, I don't know uh, Kazumi's move list at all, but I'm just doing what I'm seeing from this list. So that is what I'm supposed to do. Kazumi is capable to do this as well. So Kazumi is going to do this. Now Kazumi is regular to do this, do this, and such things. Kazumi is going to do this. Just like in the old game, in Dead or Alive 3, she was just really capable of doing all of those things, all of those tricks with everything else. Now, Kazumi can perform that and silence around the I think. It's actually a launching move. Actually, it's really crazy if you think about it. Kazumi is capable of all of those moves now. It's extended. This game is now extended to a, to a degree that was not imaginable before. And Kazumi, yeah, Kazumi can actually do that as well. There is actually one last move from the unit strikes of what Kazumi is. Doing. And there is I think there are actually more new unique strikes as well, but that's no not does not count as special any kind of way. Those are not new techniques. And so there's no new throws as well and the holes just remain to be the same. Yeah, there's just a regular special move, which one we already know about. Unlike Hayate, Kazumi doesn't have those. Kazumi is just, Hayate is just getting a one new extra move, it's a giant, it's a giant thing to have in the game, in, in the distance, Hayate can really monkey find the button, now that, basically just know only one thing in extra, compared to the regular Dead or Alive 6, just one little thing, so, instead of Zack, has to do this, hey, in hey. order to down it like this, now Zack, Zack is capable to do that without that. I don't know exactly. Hey. Yeah. Hey. He, he doesn't have to duck. Like he can double down and double up in order to do that kind of kick. It was not possible for Zack to do that before. That is all extra what Zack is capable of in, in the new version. That is all the new things, that's nothing nothing else about him. Alright, Tina is... I don't remember what Tina uh, was like, just I don't know if she has any, something new. I'm gonna try it out, but now it's gonna be Tina. You know, uh, there, yeah, there are a lot of specials actually. So... I think this was familiar from Leather Life 4. I don't really know, I don't remember. But now there are actually more moves than that. You know. And there is actually this as well. Yeah. So it's now extended to a part. The game now feels better now this way and there is actually an air, an air wall so if you, if you do that 
you can do that regardless of doing all of those moves and oh that, that may have all moves that was actually already in the game but that is a special one now oh here here comes the new thing you can actually charge up for an attack like this and uh, I think there is nothing else about her. Yeah, I think so. There's no new special throws. Anything that built in? Yeah, nothing else. Really nothing else. And here are the hordes. So I think, yeah, there is nothing else. There is nothing else about, you know? Uh, real, really little tweaks of her movements and so uh and then Selena so what Helena can do uh, let's see uh actually yeah I think I think this is considered to be a special yeah that's one Turn out to the other side. I don't know if it's going to go for that. Yeah, there is one way for you to do that. I just don't know if I'm doing it right. I don't know. I just don't know, but any Helena main can actually experiment with it with this. And this one new move, it's an by doing this, I think Helena is just having this one move in, in her disposal as, ex as an extra. Helena's uh, move set is already really rich and versatile, it can be varied in various ways, so I don't think uh, the one who updated this uh, gameplay overhaul i don't think they changed anything about it but yeah i'm absolutely crazy what all of these characters are now capable of even if even if just one or two simple moves it just it really changes the game flow like and now let, here's here's bass now let's see what bass can do uh all of these game uh gameplay what they change to is actually kind of a uh, game physics has been changed as well so i don't think that there is anything that bass has been i think bass not getting anything why the bass's moveset is actually really really poor if you think about it bass doesn't really have anything yeah not here not here yeah bass doesn't have anything it's actually sad, but you know that's Bass is already well Bass is already king, so I really chance that it's a pretty great energy input, but by not 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 having anything. And let's see you now. Yeah, face all that. This is something that the game doesn't is just no longer has in the game at all. It's nothing. That is one special move that she's capable of. <laughs> And there is one another there down. No, not this. These two kicks are not possible after the roll of those what, what, what Mila can do. So keep moving down and there is actually one more. Now. And uh, there is one more, so she can actually grab your op grab the opponent like that. Aha, uh -huh, this is actually hard to memorize. Yeah. 
yeah, Mila is basically not my bitch. She's just getting one extra trick under her sleeve. Do you remember this? Feels old enough, right? This is basically her power blow being built as a simple, normal trick like how it was before. She can charge up an attack, just like that. It's no longer the case, and so there is actually one, one more move, move, move that she can do. This is really fancy uppercut she's capable of, and yeah, I think there's nothing else. Yeah, there is nothing else that you can do. These are all the things that you can do. He's capable of. So, we'll move on to Ayana. Now, Ayana is a really interesting one because by changing the physics of the game, now she's capable of doing a lot of extra moves that she was pointless to have in the game before but now she has so she can uh, let me check it a bit yeah she can actually do an extra she can do an extra kick after which was i think not possible before Oh, I know, I just don't know. But these are all, these are special. Aha, uh -huh. so this is what you do. This is one on X. There is, yeah, uh, I think double double movement is uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, crazy, crazy. And so, yeah, I think she can do that as well with simple punches. I don't know if I checked that bit checked already. Yeah, I think I did. I don't know, it feels like it's basically the same. Unless you just have to do Yeah. I don't know, it's just backward movement facing backward to the opponent, but no. And there are two extra specials for yep. Ayana. Yep. 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 Just knocks back up the opponent. It's actually really crazy that some moves that she was really famous for before now can do it. Yep. And this as well. So yeah, well, we'll wait. Let's go back. I, I just wasn't intended to get here. And uh, I think there's nothing else. Yeah, these are back facing, back facing moves, which are not having any changes. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing. Nothing, just unique strikes which is getting anything, but I think it's wholesomely enough that Hyatt is getting a little bit extra with the revise. Uh, far from being as, as beach as now what Hyatt can do. It's, I don't know what's the difference now, but I don't know. Hyatt's moveset was 
really underwhelming in Dead or Alive 6. Really, really underwhelming. This is why I, uh, you always have to improvise because Hayate was a bit better in Dead or Alive 4 and so 5 as well. Okay, Diego is. Now can do this. Now can do this. And this as well. So. As well. Diego. I think Diego really needed that because his moveset is already really poor. And that is that as well. Uh -huh. And that is that as well. Hit, kick, punch, kick, punch, kick, kick, punch, and all this stuff. Hit, punch, hit, And I think there is nothing else. Yeah, some extra move. Use Bayman. Very first move is already a special. And I think that is all for Bayman. Yeah. Nothing extra. Yeah, I think it's really clear. But yeah, I, I think giving these little extra tweaks for Bayman's moveset is gonna give him a good time to having a chance for to retaliate the opponent and being a little bit more unpredictable about what, he, what he's doing on the battlefield. Now here's Jenny. <coughs> he can knock out uh, the opponent like this. Yeah, there's two turns. Which was not possible before, I think. And there's nothing else. Yeah. I think so, there's nothing else. There are more dragon dragon stance moves, but there's nothing up there about the unique strategies. Actually, he's not getting anything any anything new. It would be uh, count as it. it's just really crazy. Uh, moving on to Life Fang. Life Fang is. Uh, I think it's one of those characters that is also very few, very few tweaks. So special. Yeah, it's a little bit hard. Yeah, I have to move on. Yeah. And... 
There's one special down there. Oh, up and down. Oh yeah, this is crazy. This was not present in uh, play tank move moveset. So it gives her more versatility. And so having, having her spell, it was, I think it was possible in Dead or Life 4 as well. Not in Dead or Life 5 or 6, I think. Yeah, there is no more none of these moves. Just really being present in, in those uh, in those two games it's just in the earlier phases like like so like some sort of the characters could do something really extra really special which was being removed from the game eventually but the reason that they eventually put them back put all those great moves back into the game they changed everything <laughs> and she can actually do this as well so after the after the guard break, she's capable to knock down the enemy, and I think this is all what she's capable of as an extra. Uh, I think so. Yeah, there's nothing else. There's nothing else from her. So we're gonna move to the next one, which is uh, his family. Hitomi's getting <laughs> these this this turning launching move uh, probably a dodge as well. So she's doing this. <laughs> it's not. I think it's launching. If we are not uh, aware of her moves like this and this is also special yeah this is crazy she didn't kn she didn't know that at all in the game like in none of the games that she was capable of before of this right and this i don't know i'm not really sure about that Yeah, I was wrong. You can do this. And one of those attacks which is actually chargeable. No. It's actually one of those moves near a wall. So, there's nothing new about it. I think there's no nothing else. Yes, there's nothing else. Yeah, so very little tweaks to the characters, which balances the game majorly. I don't know if Hayata is overpowered now with this. I don't think so. He's not getting anything. It looks like it.
Rig didn't get any damage. So, no, neither Bass nor Rig is getting anything. But probably Christy got something. I don't know. Yeah, there is actually one move for Christy. Uh, I think it's a tough one. Back, back up, back kick, down kick, single down, down, uh huh. Uh huh. Brand new move. A brand, brand new chain. She's getting one brand new chain. I think this is the only one that she's getting. Jack A host stand. Yeah, I think there's 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 nothing more. There is one special. There is one of the, one of the special moves. Actually, she's getting three special moves. Not it. Let's go back to the specials. So she's getting three of those special moves. She can move down the prone like that. And getting that chance. Specials. And there is one extra move that she's capable. So she can do this that stance <laughs> like this. <laughs> this way, this way, and just this way. Crazy, crazy. She's getting new new ones to stance. I don't know if there is actually more to the serpent face, serpent stance, but there is nothing else. There's this one new stance she's getting. It was not possible before, I don't think. I don't know if it was, but she's getting this as an extra. Ryu Hayabusa. No unique strikes, no back facing. Only you're not getting anything. Holds and throws, not getting anything. No ground attack, no near wall attack. Hayabusa not getting anything. Hayabusa's moveset is already rich enough. So he doesn't need anything to the overhaul. We saw Hayate, he got a lot of things, a lot of stuff. Oh, here comes Mary. Mary was getting this. Mary was getting this. Capable of doing that. Okay. 
this and that just threw more specials on that side. She can stomp your ankle if you're standing and she can do basically do this without anything else. And now let's move. I don't know if there's even any left. Yeah, I think there's nothing else in her disposal. Yeah, it's just one of those weak strikes. Okay, nothing else. Here's Hanoka. Mm. She got this special. She can do the dragon stance after this. Kick. That's Vara Mariposa continuation of those moves. And yeah, I think that is. Yeah, this goes for a dragon stance as well. And there is nothing else on unique strikes for her. Nothing else here. Book War stands. Traverling soul. It's already reach. So it doesn't need anything. Absolutely didn't need anything. It's just all the things that you can do at Honoka. Now it's extended. So she really does what she really needs to. Here comes the goal. So she can do that. I think these three moves, nothing else. Yeah, exactly. She's got Reacher with three moves. Kokoro. Basically, she's just not doing the last, the last attack. Doing that. If she's immediately pressing cancel the last attack, this is one special move for her. There is one another. She can do the same, I think. There is one extra. Yeah, this this one move is actually really capable to deceive the enemy. And this Oh, she 
Because that's, that's some. Because that's some. Where did that one Getting back all what was lost for her in the other life form. And now there is one extra. So she can now charge for an attack and cancel it. do all of these and the same with the same with the <laughs> she can bluff it so you will be triggered to hold and then she will grab you this way Okay, I think it, this is all. This is all. But okay, Kokoro got really great quality of life changes. I think Kokoro has got really great quality of life changes. So her tricks gonna deceive her opponent even more than before. Lavari Porsa. The next one. continue all of her moves and links to the same combo as so there are actually more moves for her on this this puzzle because it has a continuation but one pass away so it's extended now it's extended and I think there's nothing else that she got but this extension gives her a little bit more edge to a fight yeah, nothing else. This one move, this one particular chain. She's getting one chain. Now here comes Brad Wong. I like Brad Wong actually. And I really wondered at what he got. There's, there's some great things, but one chain the special. Yeah, he's getting this. Is that it? Kinda of feels like it. Dokuritsu Hof stands. And in a handstand. Reverse handstand. Yeah, he's already really rich. But getting this type of move for him already great not getting any throws holds but it's understandable and it's natural <laughs> here comes Elliot whose move set is basically crazy you never know where that he is at so I wonder what he has in this Pushes, push and forward, push all of the turns around. And there is one special now. Okay, I wonder what was that. Bear stance. 
Okay, Elliot has a bear stance, which was, which is normally in the game. No, it's not. It's a bear stance. Getting a new stance. Got a new stance. No, it was new. It wasn't new. But his bear stance is now capable to do three. <laughs> Gamfu stance. Okay, the bear stance is actually a bear with bear witness with Gamfu's move set. Continuation is crazy, and there is also this one. I didn't really know about that, that Elliot can do that, really, never really heard about it. Uh, you have to do that bear stance. find it well, these these ends with a bear stance I don't seem to know that, that there is actually a better stance like this, but there is a special move. I don't know, understand that, but okay. Elliot having these as well, so I'm gonna try out. <laughs> about back facing strikes and those attacks from bear, bear stance that's how he immediately <laughs> the bear stance Okay, I think there's nothing else on him. I think. I didn't really know that he can do that. Uh, his bear stance left, left behind from game. Two. Okay, Raidu is the next. So, Raidu can do this session now. And there is one. Yeah. And now we 
get back to the opposite back facing to the op opponent and there's that attack and that attack <laughs> Yeah, those were his attacks. It has a chargeable move. And uh, yeah, it pretty much looks like that there is nothing else as new moves. But he has a lot of throws. But actually nothing nothing really noteworthy to be honest. Yeah. Let's take this all. She has one special here. Okay. We have to suggest she can kick down more instead of this. Very good move. And that she can do as well. I don't know, I, I remember this move. Oh. So she can do that as well. She can launch you with this. She can do that as well. This is a very old Dead or Alive 2 ultimate move of the old Tango. She's getting this back as female Tango. Crazy, crazy. And there we go. Wow. You remember this, right? This was her Dead or Alive 5 charge attack, except it's not. It's there is no power blow after that. And she's not getting anything. But yeah, the, that quality of life, launching the opponent up and then do a double down kick after that is an old school thing. Karas Tobi and Hitanomai. Yeah, but basically just nothing else. Yet it's notable. So let's go for the next character who is phase 4. I wonder what phase 4 is getting since she's really versatile and a really fast character. She got two special moves in the kicks. Oh no, she just. It's basically the very exact same special, but she can do that two, both, two different ways. Interesting. She can do platform that two different ways. And I think. Chifu move, Tenfu, and throws. I don't see anything special being here. It says special moves, but there is no special in, in, in as being brand new moves what she is capable of. But these two moves, these one move can be performed two different inputs with her new special. Basically, there's nothing else. It's a juggle move, I think. There's Let's go for my Shiranui. Let's see what she has. Okay. 
third one special there. Okay. And there's another special picture. This is a chargeable attack. And one, one special move. So she can perform this move now. It's a special, the jump forward move. This is a special. She could do that, I think, in Dead or Life 5. I don't remember. Never really witnessed this move of hers. I just, or I just don't remember. But now she's having a little tweaks for her move set. And here's Kula, and I don't know if Kula is actually having any. I don't even know. Yeah, actually, there's some some things that she can do. She can do this. This considered to be completely new. Kula is not a character in the previous Dead or Alive series games. There is one move down there, which looks like this. Okay. Uh, let me check a bit. Yeah, I have to kick forward. You can do this. This is kind of a maintenance combo. Why your opponent is not in the air, but she's still capable of doing extra stuns before she can actually launch you. It's a great combo. And there is there is one. There is one. <laughs> And this is a this is a launch maintenance. It looks looks nice. Let's come down kick after that. So. We can perform another one of those moves. Yeah, there's nothing more. This is a chain. One new chain that she can perform. I mean, by putting in the quality of life changes for herself. Nothing else. More than me. There's a lot of character actually. I just still miss Leon so much. The Ganfu and so I'm both are all all three of them are great characters. Okay, Momichi can perform this in extra. And I think there's nothing else. Yeah, I think there's nothing else. Maybe she's getting any special? She's not getting any special either. This one move. Nothing. Nothing else. Here comes the rage now. Uh, Rachel is getting linked to the same combo as this, so... So now she's got this as special. She gets this. Roll through. This is a roll through for her. She's getting this. I don't know, I don't 
don't see clearly what the fuck what, what is that exact thing. It's a special, I don't know if it is a special. Oh, I don't know if it's a special. There is a So if you reach up the sky, she can perform. Knockdown, airborne. Aha. Uh -huh. And there is another special. Starting with a special kit. This knocks out the rock one and then giving a launch. And there is actually one more move. Wild. Okay, there's nothing, nothing else. Nothing on here. She has one throw, however, a special. She has one extra throw with this move. She, she can immediately perform this throw instead of doing all of those combos and then she can actually perform this. And nothing else. She got also some men very minor, one very minor quality of life changes. I think so far, I have got the most number. Here comes Tamaki. I don't know if Tamaki got any. Yeah, there's four special immediately. There is a fifth one. I already see a fifth one as well. So well. She can do this. She can do this. She can do this. On that, and that's sorry, and there is one more. Yeah, this gives her a brief stun. And that one the animation and it just resets her position, which is weird. There is one. Okay, it does definitely does not show you that you should keep pushing the button that bit. Keep pushing uh, one P with a kick in order to perform that move. But she can do it. And she can do it as well. She can do this as well. All those moves. She can. She has one extra special move. And I think there is nothing more. That there is. There is one more throw with that specific move. I don't I just don't know. There is one throw that you can perform like this. It's special. So let's continue to the special. Wait a minute. It's not really clear to me. So she performs this without that kind of stand. 
It's one throw move. And she can do that. Uh, it's not not good. Anymore. Yeah, it's not that move. She knows something. I think that's a stance move. I don't really know. But there's there's one special combo with a throw. Ending with a throw. Maybe it's Okay, so doesn't seem like she's doing anything with that but there is a throw that she can perform with this combo FR continuing with the offensive hold and nothing else on this one and is there anyone else I don't think this was the last character. I thought he's the last character in this series. Yes, there's no one else. Well, that's it. This was basically the showcase video. So, hope you guys you enjoyed. See you soon next time.